have arrived in Stockholm. I'm actually in Stockholm. I'm in Stockholm, Sweden. I got on a plane and I got here. But as I was walking down the street, just utter elation. I'm in a country I've never been to before. I am beholden to absolutely no one, no thing. <laughs> I have returned from my first Swedish excursion. I went and got myself food and I'm still hungry. It's fucking freezing. It's fucking freezing. I knew it'd be cold, but. I've come into the armory. I have no interest in armor, but my hands are freezing, so. I just had a very interesting evening. So we didn't start off well after my very, very long walk. Very cold weather. I was home long enough to put things on charge and kind of and feel a little bit more human. And then I had to go. I needed to get walking and get some dinner. I've been there now and I still can't remember what it was called. Medborgaplatsen. 
made burger plates and Decided to walk there, thought it would take about half an hour, but I overshot the street. Not by much, but enough. Uh, basically, I got horribly lost. I was on the verge of tears, two women, lovely women, and I went up to them and went, hi, where am I? They were going to where I was going, so they told me to follow them. The reason I was looking for it was because Maria had recommended it to me for places to eat. I saw a restaurant and I literally, I was, at this point, I was so tired and hungry and stressed. I hadn't eaten a proper meal all day. I just went into the first restaurant that I found. It was fine. It it was a little bit expensive because it's Stockholm. And then I had to order off a menu that was in Swedish and then the waitress wasn't very good at English. I was looking at the risotto and I, I didn't know what was in it and I pointed at one and I went, what is this? And she went, it's good, this risotto is very good. I was like, okay, but what is this? And she was like, it's vegetable. Oh no, she didn't say vegetable, she said vegetable. So I thought, okay, I'm ordering some kind of vegetable risotto. I didn't, I ordered prawn risotto. I don't like prawns. <laughs> But it turns out I don't mind prawns if I'm really hungry. And all of this time, I'm just sitting by myself, looking out the window, looking around, watching people, thinking, because that's kind of what I want to do. Like, I want to stop feeling like every single minute has to be filled with something. Just after I've asked why my bill, this woman comes up and she puts a tall glass in front of me and she says something to me in Swedish. But it was so unexpected. She was... What, what was... I was so confused. And then she went, oh, English? And I went, yeah. And she went, okay, we'd, um, we've got you a shot. Uh, we saw you by yourself. Would you like to come over and have a drink with us? I mean, there was a moment where I thought, do I say no? Because I'm an introvert and social anxiety and all that jazz. But I actually said, yeah, okay then. This is why I came to Sweden. I came to Sweden out of spontaneity and this is spontaneous. I ended up sitting on a table with Veronica, Joanna and David. They told me a bit about Sweden, how people in Stockholm are happier in the summer. They're all depressed in the winter because it's dark. Then they were telling me about how in the summer they dance around a penis and I thought they were lying and then they're not. We just chatted and they were quite drunk. I asked them why they invited me over and they just said, you looked like you needed company. I don't believe that everything happens for a reason because that implies predestination. But I do think that something can come out of everything or something could come out of anything. And just picking a restaurant just because it was there. I ended up speaking to some people and hey, it's not like they changed my life. It was something I've never done before. Life is crazy and life is big. And I am small. And I'm tipsy. So <laughs> I'm going to turn this off and get ready for bed. I'm back to add two things. Even if I didn't, you know, have a life-changing experience. One, they got me a shot of something I've never had before. It was some kind of mint spirit. It was very minty. I ended up getting the subway home. Joanna, basically she went through the barrier and then I just like nipped in after her. And unlike in London, on the way out, you don't need a pass. You can just go straight through. So I got a free ride home as well. If nothing else came out of this evening, I got a free drink and a free ride home and some free conversation. Insane. I'm tired, too long alone. I don't know, but currently and for the last few hours, my brain has felt like it's eating itself with thought. I seem to have a remarkable propensity for things to end badly. It doesn't seem to matter how many beautiful days there are or beautiful moments. At the end, I just, I don't know. I seem to always have a breakdown. <laughs> I cried in the photography museum and I don't really know why. I was just panicking and wondering whether I was like 
enjoying the moment enough or whether it was profound and I don't know if I spent too much of today looking at art with a capital A and therefore I'd had a bit too much dose of introspection and philosophy I suppose. I'll read my book on my way home now. It might stop me thinking a bit and Sweden won't necessarily be marked off as some big profound thing in my life but it's been a thing.